I'm uh, Cadet Captain Angel here with the Lincoln County High School Army ROTC program. I'm the Battalion S5 Public Affairs Officer. My name is Cadet Captain Lambert. I am the S3. I help set up and I support the Raider team on the competitions. We're going to have 13 schools come, 16 teams. Um, we've got about 23 off schools and about 18 events they got to do. I'm Cadet Private Nelson. I'm just like a new guy. This is my first year in the program. ROTC is just a really good program to be in. Um, it teaches you a lot of respect and integrity and just what to do what's right. It makes you a better person. I'm basically the lowest rank you can go. I'm like way down there. It's pretty fun. You get to do the obstacle course and stuff. You gotta run a lot though if you don't like running. Uh, Sergeant Major Adkins, I'm an uh, Army instructor here at Lincoln County High School. The students kind of run the program. Uh, we just kind of give them guidance. Uh, we have a staff, just like any organization you have a staff, which is usually our upperclassmen. They do the plans, they lay it out. Uh. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Lawrence. I'm the PRO officer here at Lincoln County High School. Uh, volunteer my time with the JROTC program. And I uh, individually talk to each one of them and ask them their goals, what they want to accomplish once high school is over for them. I ask them their five-year program or their plan and see uh, where they want to go, why they're here in this program, and what, how the program has affected them in their life here at school and also outside. Dallas Plumley. I'm a retired lieutenant colonel from the Army from active duty, and I teach here at Lincoln County High School. JRTC here at the high school and across the country is designed to motivate young people to be better citizens. Our focus here is not to recruit for the military, but it's to give the kids something to belong to here at the high school that haven't found something yet. Uh, most of the responses is it helps them to be uh, better citizens. It helps them to be able to communicate their problems and issues with other people, which helps them with family life. Uh, whether it's a relationship with boyfriend and girlfriend, or if it's with their grandparents, uh, they can articulate how they were feeling inside. I think Lincoln County has one of the best programs in the state. It's all about leadership and teaching the younger classmen. Our, we start with the school year in the August time frame and we do something called Raider Team where we'll do an athletic type events for the kids. And right now we have about 25 to 30 of the kids involved in this competition that we're getting ready for. Uh, there'll be about 12 to 15 of them competing and the other 10 or 15 will be supporting, doing all those things that you normally don't see to make it happen. Uh, we're, we're like one big happy family in Junior ROTC. Uh, we work together. Uh, you'll hear the kids maybe tell you that I, I tell them all the time that I love them because I do. Uh, I love the kids in Junior ROTC. Uh, tell them that all the time uh, and I usually get that love back. Our structure or our goals is again is to motivate and be better citizens. We focus on leadership duty, respect, self-service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. Those are leadership values in or values in the Army. And we try to portray that here in the school and the community. And one of the things we try to teach the kids is, yeah, they're, they're in my class or Sergeant Major Aggins class for maybe one period of day, but they're a JRTC kid all day, all year, uh, especially during school year. So if something happens in the school and they really do something wrong or stupid, that teacher will let us know and, and we, we deal with because we expect them to act for, correctly all the day, just not in my JRTC room or when we're on an activity. And the kids learn that because uh, we just have higher expectations, we have high expectations for them on how they act and what's right and what's wrong. As we're preparing them for what's next step for them, whether they're going to be in the workforce, whether they're going to be in college, or if they decide to go into the military. And uh, my role is just try to get them to understand that they can always communicate their problems instead of reverting to violence or causing problems or any form of bullying, cyberbullying, anything like that, and that's what I do with this program.